I love Cheetos. I The crunchy Cheetos are my favorite. And when we got this project, I was so excited because I am such a huge fan of Cheetos. I was like, yes. Webster Colcord, uh, animator. Uh, my name is Tim Taylor, and I'm director of photography. My name is Victoria Rose, and I am a feature film puppet maker. Bird uh, Goodmanson, and I'm making costumes for this wonderful project for Cheetos. Tom Prost, and I'm doing production design art direction for this uh, Cheetos Bones spot. My name is John Peters, and I'm the director and writer for The Delivery. So the idea is uh, a young delivery person, Kat, who is on her moped. She gets a blowout in the middle of the woods, um, but she's determined to deliver this package that she has. It's the last package. It's almost the middle of the night. She works for the Demise Delivery Service, and she wants to get this done. But she soon senses that she's not alone in the woods. She doesn't see anybody until she turns around and she's confronted by a giant monster, but not just any monster. This is a giant Cheetos bones monster. <laughs> Well, they handed me a really cool character design because uh, I really enjoyed that she had this kind of tough looking coat on. They're built for heavy duty work. I learned this from one of my mentors, Suzanne Moulton, that to look at the finger of the puppet and put it next to one of the fabrics. And if the thread is bigger than the, the puppet's hand, then, you know, that's not gonna work. Even though these monsters are chasing her, they're made of an edible material, and she could easily, you know, just take control of the situation. But she does not eat a Cheeto in the whole piece. She doesn't get too frightened. It's not about just cowering in fear. She's always determined. I mean, she has a determination throughout the film. I'm gonna get this done. It's the last delivery. I'm not going home till this is made. And we at the studio have always fought to see more women in film. And we like female characters a lot. And, uh, and we like to portray them in a very strong way. And I think Kat personifies that. I've always loved stop motion since Night Before Christmas came out. I was 10. I saw that movie and there was just a magic to it. You know, you make this tangible object and then you move it a little bit and that's on screen. It's forever. It's this amazing, magical thing. Just the idea of moving something frame by frame and creating whatever you want uh, and having any kind of magic happen from that. I do think that people relate to it in a different way. Certainly kids relate to it in, in a way of, it's almost like seeing their toys come to life. I like being able to see the textures, I like the real lights, I like the real cameras, you know, I like working with those kinds of tools. There's a, more of an element of fun to it because there's more collaboration going on. The crews are usually smaller and everybody's really wearing more than just one hat and collaborating. I see them as little actors. And then when you get into a, a shot, you know, and they start to come alive, they, I never get tired of that moment. When you're doing stop motion, it's a, it's a physical process. You're not just using your brain, you're also using your hands and your body to, to get the performance. And the way I look at it is the performance is actually happening and the puppet's really doing it, but um, it's just not doing it in the same time scale that we live in. That is your favorite part of this project. Uh, my favorite, well, Cheetos, obviously, because I love Cheetos, but no, my favorite part is um, the puppets, obviously, because, you know, I make the puppets. Um, I actually really like the Haunted Mansion. I think it's gorgeous and beautiful, and um, I really like, I like that we got to make a puppet that's, like, the Cheetos puppets are really creative. It's something I've never done before. I've made a lot of girl characters, but I've never made a Cheetos puppet. I get a really big kick out of seeing Chester Cheetah. I, I kind of feel like that was a really big thing for me. I know, I like animals and, and he's pretty cool. I got a passing glance at Chester when he was here trying to take my job, actually. He was there, I saw him directing one of the scenes. I, was, I thought I was out for a moment there. So I've run into a number of these celebrity uh, advertising mascot characters and it was super cool to see Chester next to the monster that we've been working on. It was like this, you know, meeting of superstars. That was really, really cool. 
great to be working on this, and it's a fantastic crew, and it's a fun little story, and I, I really hope that people enjoy it.